let's create a new page and I will explain every option which you should know while working with Gutenberg blog editor. In Gutenberg editor, you can see some option in the top bar and right sidebar. First, let me explain the top bar options. In the top left corner, you are able to see total 5 icons. The plus icon helps you to add blog in your page or post. Beside this plus icon, you see undo and redo option. Undo and redo option have their own shortcut too. Ctrl Z for undo and Ctrl Shift Z for redo. So if you have done something mistakenly, then you should undo and redo option. For example, let me show you how this undo and redo work. Let's name this page, test page and write something. This is a test paragraph. Okay. Now if I click on this undo option, the paragraph is gone. And if I click on this redo option, then it appears. For example, if I do it via keyboard shortcut, press Ctrl Z, it's gone. And now if I press Ctrl Shift Z, now it's appear. So this is how uh, the undo and redo option work. And the next uh, option is content structure. It shows you how many words you have, how many headings and paragraph and blocks you have added in this test page or this post. Okay, this is another one. Okay, now if I click on this icon, you can see total 10 words, heading 0, paragraph 2 and block 2. This is one block and it's another block. So it shows the summary of your page or post. And the final one is block navigation. Imagine you have a lot of blocks added in your page and you want to navigate from one block to another. You can use this block navigation system to do it. For example, let me click on this number 2 paragraph. Now you see it's navigated to this one. And if I click on this, then it's here. Now let me take a look at the top right corner options. In the top right corner, you see there are also five options. Uh, the first one is save draft, then preview, then publish, and then settings, and then this triple dot option. So you know how to work with this save draft, preview, and publish option. And now let me talk about this three dot and settings option. The setting is basically this right sidebar. And if you click on this settings icon, you see the right sidebar is shaded. If you again click on this, then you will see the settings. And this triple dot, here you can see the top toolbar is full mode, full screen mode, code editor. And as I have installed classic editor, it shows me to navigate this page into classic editor. So this is reusable blocks and we will talk about this later. And there is the keyboard shortcut. If you click on this, you will see bunch of shortcut here which you can use while working with this Gutenberg page editor. Try to remember most of this necessary shortcut which will speed up your page or post writing quality. Let me show you how this spotlight full screen and top toolbar work. If I click on this top toolbar and I have already checked this top toolbar. Now if I click on this paragraph option you see the options in this top bar. And now if I uncheck this, you can see the option in each block, on the top of each block. This is how this option works. Now let's talk about this spotlight mode. It's highlighted the block where you are working. For example, I am working on this second block. That's why it's uh, highlighted. If I click on this first block, the first block is highlighted. And this is how this highlight system works. And now let's talk about the full screen mode. Full screen mode disappear everything, all your dashboard, and just showcase the page where you are able to write and arrange your post in this Gutenberg editor. This is how all the top bar options work. Let me show you the options in this right sidebar. Let's see the document options. This is status and visibility. If you want to change uh, your post to public to private and password protected, you can do it from this visibility option. Then publish when you can schedule it from this option. You can also move your page or post trash from this move to trash option. Now let's talk about the permalink. You can type anything in this permalink which is SEO friendly for your page or post. You can set your page featured image or post featured image from this option. If you want to allow comments in page or post, just select this option and publish it. The last one is parent attribute. If you want to create a page under a page, then just select the page name and publish it. 
and the present page will be a parent page which you have already selected from this option and let's uh, move forward to the final option of our Gutenberg blog it's uh, the blog options there are different type of blogs which has multiple type of blog settings it depends on what you are editing so I am going to show you this option by a paragraph so in paragraph of option you are able to see the font size if you want to increase the font size just select it or you can type your desired size also here you see this is working instantly I am typing five five and this works and if you want drop cap then select it check this and you see the drop cap and color setting you can select background color or text color everything is possible within this option and now advanced and here you can put any additional CSS class for this block and we will talk about this later in advanced Gutenberg editor.